Hey guys, it's Emily Meredith. So I have another review that I want to do on a Josie Marin product. So this um, video I want to discuss the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. Now before I got this product, I was not a big foundation wearer. Um, I don't like for my skin to feel like I have makeup just caked on. Um, I'm a teacher so I need my makeup to hold up all day long and I just don't like to reapply. So I was a little nervous um, starting this product because it is a foundation, but I went ahead and tried it. Could not be happier with it. So I want to kind of show you how this works. So I'm not wearing any makeup right now. And this this is what the bottle looks like, which, oh my gosh, isn't it pretty? It's just so cute. All of Josie Marin's products are so pretty. And I know that's not a necessity, but it just makes it so much more fun. Um, so the shade that I have is Juicy. All of her shades are named something different. I believe the Juicy is uh, medium. And, you know... I feel like I could have gone a little lighter or a little darker and it would have still been fine. But this shade is absolutely perfect too. It's just, you know, a lot of her makeups, they do kind of conform to your skin. So if you're ordering something from her online, don't be nervous that you're going to get it in and it's going to be totally the wrong shade. Um, you know, match it the best you can. But really, I really do feel like if you're just, if you just get close to what you feel like your skincare, t your skin tone is, you're gonna be good because her products are just amazing. So I wanna show you how this works. So I'm gonna put just one pump on my skin. And when I bought the foundation, it also came with this. This is the stipple brush. I had never used a stipple brush before because like I said, I'm, I'm usually not real heavy into makeup. Um, although I do look so much better with it on, so I need to uh, I needed to get more into it, and this has really been a fun way to do that. So, I, like I said, I never used this, and it was very intimidating, but um, it's very easy to use. So, I'm just going to swirl it around on my hand here, and then I'm just going to start dotting, okay? Now, I'm just going to put it all over my skin first, and then I'll go through and blend it in. And like I said, I am obviously not a makeup artist by any means so right now it looks like it's probably a little bit too light but watch how it's going to blend in so i'm going to just use the brush as um josie's instructions say to use it and that is literally you just rub it in there's not really a wrong way to do this and as i rub it in even more it's going to really blend into my skin really really well and one thing about this foundation, if you are heavy into using foundation and it's something that you already do anyway, this foundation is not going to crack. It's not going to settle into your creases and it's not going to feel greasy or, you know, anything like that. I have never um, had to reapply this throughout the day after I put it on. But also one good thing that a lot of people really like about Josie's products is that, or Josie's foundation, is that it is buildable. So if you wanted a thicker foundation, uh, if you needed it to have more coverage, you definitely can do that. So you can just put on a second coat um, or however many you need. But so right now it's all blend, blended in. And as you see, it looks so smooth. My skin does not look dry. I feel very, very moisturized because one thing about this foundation, not only is it just acting as a makeup, it actually does have Josie's signature organal in the makeup. So you are also in a way treating your skin all through the day. You're moisturizing. I love that. I was so excited about that. So, you know, that that's a big deal to me. I feel like okay, I'm wearing makeup, but I'm also doing something positive and good for my skin. I had never seen another foundation or powder or whatever that also acts as a moisturizer. That's amazing to me. And so I have, you know, several um, scars and things all over my face. And so like this one, you can still see it a little bit. This is a skin cancer scar from a spot that I had removed. You can still see it a little bit. But it's definitely covered it and it's not I didn't do a thick coat you saw I only used a little tiny bit on my skin and that's it so it's very very simple to use the brush very simple to use and it really gives you that airbrush finish when you just you know you can just kind of stipple all over or wherever wherever you need more coverage you can go back and stipple 
and, and get more coverage there. And the brush care is very, very simple. So what I do is I just put a tiny dab of whatever kind of cleanser I want to use on the brush in my hand and I run it under warm water and I literally just swirl it like this in the palm of my hand. It, and it's almost as if the brush gets softer and smoother every time I use it. And I don't know for sure, but I would think that's because I use only this to apply it with and uh, I use only this to apply this. And since this has the Arganol in it and Arganol is such a wondrous, wondrous um, product, it's like it's moisturizing the brush too, not just my face. How cool is that? It just, you know, it just doesn't get any better. So if you're looking for a good foundation that's not going to look like you're wearing heavy makeup, I would definitely say go with Josie Marin's Vibrancy Foundation. You will be thrilled to pieces.